Let's take a look at encrypting and decrypting files using the encrypted file system, EFS. To start with, let's take a look at uh, just encrypting a file. So I've got uh, my diary here as a text file. And if we right click on it and just go to the properties option, here in the properties dialog, we have this advanced button on the general tab. And there, the option to encrypt is down here at the bottom. So if we select this option to encrypt and hit OK, nothing actually happens until we hit OK reply. I'm just going to hit apply here. And uh, since it's just a file, it's going to give me this warning, uh, just letting you know that if there's a, ever, ever a temporary file written to this folder, uh, it's going to be written in plain text. I'm going to choose just to encrypt this file only. Oh, there we go. So it, we can see that it's encrypted because it has the lock icon on it. And to decrypt it, the, the process is very similar. So we go back to the properties window, uh, select the advanced button, and just uncheck the encrypt contents to secure data and hit OK. And again, nothing changes until we hit apply or OK. So if I hit apply, you can see the lock goes away and that file is no longer encrypted. The process is very similar for a folder. Uh, we're going to right click on the folder and go to the properties option. And again, go to the advanced button and select encrypt contents to secure, secure data. And then hit OK. And again, nothing happens until we hit apply. And so we have this option to apply it to this folder or this folder subfolders and files. I just want to show you what happens if we only apply it to this folder. We're going to hit OK, with only apply it to that folder. You see this folder gets the lock icon, meaning this folder is encrypted. Inside the folder, uh, none of these files are encrypted, so anyone could read uh, my top secret data here. And of course, this folder isn't encrypted as well, so my, my notes on taking over the world is uh, in plain view. We go back up here, we right click on this file, we're back at the original folder, we right click on it, go to the advanced options, uh, but we don't actually have an option to, to set that encryption for all the folders and files again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrypt it by hitting OK and apply, and then apply changes everywhere. And so that folder is decrypted. Go back in here to encrypt it again. But this time when we hit apply, we're going to select apply changes to this folder, subfolder, files. And then of course, if we look in here, now everything is encrypted. And so I don't have to worry about uh, somebody coming through and reading all my, my private stuff. So the last thing to mention is the first time you set up EFS, it will ask you to back up uh, your encryption key. It's really important that you do that if you're encrypting anything of value. And I'm assuming that if you're encrypting something, it says something of value. So make sure you back that up into some kind of uh, external media somewhere. So that's how you use the encrypting file system on Windows.